the beautiful city of Palm Desert, California. Harry Chickma alongside Jill Kravis, an American legend in many respects and also definitely a New England legend. And she is playing for the Boston Lobsters this year. Really a homecoming for you, Jill, and everyone is so excited throughout New England. Tell me about your excitement to be a lobster. I'm really excited. I was hoping that I would get chosen by Boston because I think it would be fun for me to go back to the New England area and for my parents to come watch and for my, old, my friends that I haven't seen in a while to come watch. And I'm just really looking forward to being back in that area this summer. And we are in Palm Desert because this is the home of Indian Wells, which is uh, maybe the fifth best tournament in the world, people say. And it's also the home of the Milan World Team Tennis Draft. And you were drafted in the opening round by Boston. Uh, tell me about the nerves. You know, I know we spoke before the draft and you really wanted to be back. And what was that process like? Yeah, I mean, it's not a given that you're going to get for a certain team. So you just kind of go into a draft and... Um, I really wanted to play for Boston, like I said, to be back in that area, but it was a little bit nerve-wracking the last few days because I had to wait until today to see which team I was going to play for. So I was really excited. Bud texted me and let me know that I, that I was going to be a lobster, so I was really thrilled. And Bud Schultz is one of the greatest coaches. You've known him for so long. Uh, what are your thoughts about playing with him and, and some of your friends like Eric Buderek? Um, it's going to be fantastic. I mean, I like you said, I did know Bud when I was a lot younger. He see, he saw me play when I was younger. He hasn't seen me play in a while, so it'll be good to get some advice and see how I've progressed in his mind. And also, um, I've played mixed doubles with Eric before. I hope Hopefully, I'll be able to play again because we do have Paula, who's on the team that plays amazing doubles. So maybe we'll get a good mixture. And um, But it's a great team, great personalities. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. And also, Mark Filipousis is playing, and he's you know, a great-looking guy, but also still a really <laughs> good player. Uh, what are your thoughts on him playing in his huge serve that's going to be a big help yeah I mean I, I kind of just want to return the serve a couple of times just to see how fast it is but um, I knew him a little bit on the tour he's a great guy and so and I'm sure he hasn't lost any of his power or speed or anything so it'll be I'm looking forward to seeing him again and also how's your game I mean we all know you beat Serena Williams at Wimbledon I mean that is a huge result that many people can even dream about uh, talk about how that was uh, it was an amazing experience. I mean, just the atmosphere, I mean, being at Wimbledon and being able to win that match was one of the greatest experiences that I've had. And um, I mean, I'll never forget it. And just the, the atmosphere and the energy from the crowd was just amazing. And uh, also World Team Tennis, uh, what's that excitement like? It's a little different than a normal match. Yeah, I mean, tennis is so individual now, even when we're, even when we're playing doubles uh, um, on the tour, it's still such an individual sport. And I haven't played in a team setting since the last time I played World Team Tennis, which was over 10 years ago. So I'm looking forward to having that team aspect again and being able to work and train as a group and um, being there for each other for support. Well, time for a quick break here on this Boston Lobsters broadcast. When we return, Jill Kravis will speak with the coach of the Lobsters, Bud Schultz. Stick around. That's coming up. Say hello to a major dose of common sense, to feeling better about your health care, because it's more about you. Helping you be and stay healthy right where you live, all through your life. Leahy Health, forward-looking care and clinical expertise with a personal point of view. What's next in health care for who matters most? You. Leahy Health. Welcome to another Boston Lobsters broadcast. Harry Chickma with Francisco Montoya, who is the director of academies here at the Manchester Athletic Club, which is the new home for the Boston Lobsters. A very exciting season of world team tennis coming up here with some of the best competition in the world. Francisco, let's begin with world team tennis and the fact Boston is coming here to your club. Tell me about your excitement. Um, we are extremely excited. It's uh it's very important for the programs that we run, for the competitive programs that we run, for the kids to get a, a real view of pro tennis, you know, and for us to have the guys on site, for, us to, for them to sort of represent us out there, those pro players, and to have the marquee players be here, I think it's huge. I mean, the kids and the parents are so excited to be, for, for it to happen. And Francisco has been part of uh, Nick Boletari and his tennis training for you know well over a decade now. And you've coached and helped get people uh, prepared for the tour, such as Maria Sharapova, Venus and Serena Williams, uh, Paul Henry, Mateo. It's really impressive. 
tell me about World Team Tennis in that competition. I mean, you have names like Eric Buderak, also Venus playing, and, uh, you know, Mark Filipus is playing for Boston. Yeah. So tell me about World Team Tennis and its spot in the community. I, I, I just think Team Tennis in general is, is just a big plus. Uh, when you talk about the players that have competed in college and they have gone to play pros, they always speak of college tennis as their, as their highlight. And now a lot of the international players that are playing World Team Tennis, I think they see that as a, as a big part of their year, you know, because they get the sense that they're playing for not just themselves, you know. And, you know, this is the new home, as we mentioned, the MAC and the Boston Lobsters. What a great facility here. How do you think this area can help Boston and the Lobsters maybe win a World Team Tennis Championship? Because they're trying to get that title trying to take down the Washington Castles, and it's all about the fan support. You need those fans to come out. How do you think the uh, people here in this area can help them out? I mean, this is a huge tennis community, uh, the north of Boston. Uh, there's not only the MAC, but there's another other clubs, and it really feels like they become the, the team from the area, you know, or from the club, and I think the, the support that you're going to get from the kids, from the families is huge. So I think we are not going to lack... Uh, fans for the team. Well, so much more excitement coming up here on this Boston Lobsters broadcast. Harry Chickma, Francisco Montoya. We'll be right back after this from the Manchester Athletic Club. and a legend throughout the world of tennis and the coaching ranks. Bud Schultz returns for his fourth year as the head coach of the Boston Lobsters. And after guiding the team to Eastern Conference Finals appearances in 2010 and 2011, he's ready for another competitive season of Milan World Team Tennis. I'm absolutely thrilled with our team, with Jill Kravis as our number one pick, Eric Buterak being protected in the second round, with uh, Amir Weintraub in the third round and Paula Suarez in the third round as well. We've got a great mix of veterans, uh, people that have played team tennis before, know the routine, the intensity. Um, of the of not only the season but the competition and then a young up-and-comer in a mirror we're thrilled with our team one of the things that I'm always looking at in terms of what players we pick is not so much um, their absolute ability level but what's their ability level gonna be when they show up on the fifth night in a row having been on a plane for the last five days every every day for the last five days and are they going to be able to show up physically and mentally to play on that fifth day and in that sense we've got a great group of players that are going to compete night in night out in, a, in the most intense competitive tennis season you could possibly put together. Bud competed on the ATP World Tour, earning a career-high ranking of number 39 in the world in singles, with five wins over top 10 players. He hopes to use this amazing experience to lead the Lobsters to a World Team Tennis title. With this team in mind, we'll go into the season, first of all, uh, getting people to know each other. One of the things that you have to look at um, for the team that you put together is how are these people going to live together, travel together, work together, and how they're going to support each other through the season. So what we're always looking at is getting out on the court before the season starts and then throughout the season and putting the different pairings together, getting Jill and Paula um, to work together day in and day out to really, over the course of the season, become a better doubles team. Same thing with Amir and Eric, and then the same thing with Eric and, and whoever he's going to be playing mixed with on that night. The telltale sign is, to, from the start of the season to the end of the season, do those teams get better and better over the course of the season. And he believes that doubles competition is a key ingredient towards the Lobster's success. It's not just showing up and playing, it's Eric helping out with the ladies doubles team. It's taking input from Jill and Paula when Eric and, and Amir are out there. 
Um, the last piece is everyone's got to get, get along. And um, probably my greatest task is making that happen when you're playing 14 matches in 18 days, keeping everyone together, keeping everyone on the same page, making sure that they're rested and ready to play on that night. And that's one of the great challenges of world team tennis. Both difficult, but in its difficulty, a, a wonderful challenge to embrace. Um, and that is the 14 matches in eight days. It's as unique a, a competitive team season as you could possibly come up with. In that sense, again, I, I think we have a great team, really suited well for, for this format and for the 2013 season. And one of the main objectives for the Lobsters is to beat the two-time defending champion Washington Castles, who haven't lost a match in more than two years. We have the luxury of playing them four times. So uh, in some sense, we, we have it in our own hands to be able to confront the consensus favorite. And on those four matches, we're gonna have to have our best four matches of the season. And uh, are clearly against the better teams, your margin for error is a little less. We, our clarity needs to be um, greater and our energy needs to be at its absolute peak. We look forward to the challenge. What do you think about having Jill Kravis? That's amazing. We love Jill. She's a New Englander. I've known her since she was in high school. I worked with her way back when, um, when she was just coming out of high school, going off to college. And boy, if, there, if there's one person that represents a work ethic and a, a stick to itiveness uh, she's it, and, and one of the reasons I'm thrilled about having her on the, on the team is just that. You know she's going to show up night in and night out. Milan World Team Tennis veteran Eric Buderak is coached by Bud both on the ATP Tour and on the Lobsters, and he's very excited to help guide Boston to a championship run in 2013. I think bringing in Jill Krabis is going to be a huge asset for us. She's from the Northeast, she's real strong in singles, doubles. Uh, I've had mixed doubles success with her in the past, uh, making the semifinals of the US Open once. Um, and then Paulo Suarez is an unbelievable doubles record. On the men's singles front, it'll be exciting. This Amir Weintraub is, is a strong player. We played against him last year, and he's had a couple of huge wins in Davis Cup over like top 50 players in the world. Um, appears to really thrive in the team environment. I think he's gonna be a big asset. And then um, our rock Bud Schultz as a coach, it's gonna be great to have him back again. Uh, we all love him. He, he's just the ultimate professional. He's been, he's been in our shoes before on the tour, so he really knows how to coach, uh, how, to, how to guide us. And then um, bringing in the scud, Mark Filipousis, for a couple of matches will be exciting too. I uh, hope fans enjoy watching him play. Uh, I mean, one of the biggest serves you're ever going to see. And hope he can help lead us to a couple of victories when he's in town. And there's no question, anticipation is riding high. Time for a quick break here, but stick around. There's much more Boston Lobsters tennis coming up next. Mm -hmm.